All right, grabbing the last piece of the PDP kit and we'll start bringing the Tamos in. And here it is, a full kit in one relatively small box. So, here is the Tama Club Jam. Legs for the floor tom. Here is the snare, 13 by 5. So I worked with Alex and Evan at Ruffs. Alex is the owner, Evan is the manager. Um, we kind of chatted, told them about what I'm wanting, something that's pretty easy to move around, uh, doesn't take up much space, because we've got, you know, pretty small space here at Drumbox. Uh, this is also going to be a kit that we will use mobile with the van. Uh, it's likely that we will grab a second one of these instead of moving one in and out because I always want there to be two sets of drums at drum box so people can instruct or just play with friends or have kind of a different flavor of kit to choose from. So yeah, this is great. Uh, the finish is called Charcoal Mist. Um, looks pretty awesome. I don't know, the lighting's not great in here so I don't know if you get a real good feel for it. Uh, also, it's got really good looking actual badges. I guess on some of the other kits that are similar to this from other companies, uh, they're stickers instead of real badges. So pretty happy to have this. Also pretty happy to see that everything shipped with heads. When I saw the size of this box, I was pretty worried that it was all nested. Um, but the snare, Definitely has all of its stuff, you know, both of its heads put on already. Uh, these are the heads for the kick. And so now I do see the kick and the floor tom actually are nested. Oh my God, these hoops look awesome. Nice wood hoops. Really excited about that. So that's gonna be the hoop for the 18 inch kick. The rack tom is fully built up, has both heads on it. Uh, these come with just Tama branded heads. I'm not sure who is the manufacturer for these. I don't know if they are just Remo heads with Tama branding or what, but uh, we'll give them a listen, play them a little bit, see if we can get them tuned up decently and see how they sound. Might end up replacing them soon. All right, so here's the rest of it. Uh, shells nested. So this floor tom is pretty awesome, super shallow. I'm excited about maybe trying to adapt a big floor tom case to hold the rack tom and the kick, potentially. This is actually nice. Nice padding between each. Yeah. So it's a mess, but by the way, we're here at Drumbox. This is the Gretsch five piece that I consider the main kit. Sounds really great. Has a Tama double kick pedal. Uh, it's a really versatile kit. Holds tune really well. It's a lot of fun to play. This box says 18 inch, so it should be the kick heads, but it's possible that they put all the heads in there and just didn't label all of it. All 
All right, like Beck said, that was a good drum break uh, because I took a drum break and it was good. All right, so these are all to some sort of theoretically consistent tension. It's pretty high. We'll probably bring that down after we get the top head on. Okay, again, top head is branded. So I'll find where the badge is. Align that, just to keep things looking cool. Sounds like a drum. We'll fine tune it after we get everything set up. Go ahead now, just to get a task pretty close to complete. Go ahead and get the legs on this floor, Tom. All right, now we're gonna move on to the kick. Got, I think, all of my hardware in here for the kick. Wow, uh, this is remarkably light. It helps that a lot of the hardware is not yet put on, but I think this is going to be a really great kit for being able to move around easily. And I think I'll go ahead and get this box out of the way. Yeah, I love this finish. Hopefully you can see some of that sparkle. For some reason, I love drums that sparkle. I have a 1963 Ludwig Green Sparkle five piece at home. And I think that might have started my obsession with sparkle finish on drums. I'm gonna guess that these hoops are identical. seems to be the case. Uh, so each hoop has one side that's unfinished and one side that's finished. So we'll make the unfinished face the inside where people aren't really gonna see it. So I'm thinking it was on purpose, but after putting the floor tom together, I am left with one tension rod and these are all accounted for, so I'm thinking this is just an extra in case you lose one or maybe cross-thread one, which is very nice of them. Let's skip the torque key. Just use this basic key, and let's say give them a quarter a turn. I have played drums for a long time, but I haven't done a ton of head changing uh, because money. Never really wanted to devote a ton of money to having the freshest heads possible. Uh, haven't gigged a ton as a drummer, so used to gig as a singer, but yeah, so didn't have the demand for keeping fresh heads throughout all my drumming history, so just haven't changed things that much. So uh, I'm sure that you all have lots of recommendations on ways that I can replace heads more quickly, more easily, tune better, and I'm happy to hear all of that. So shoot me a comment. Here is the Rezo side with a good looking Tama badge. I've always liked Tamas. Pretty excited to have these and kind of get more of a feel for what Tama is all about. This is the first Tama kit that I've ever owned. And owning is kind of through proxy because really these are the property of my business drum box. 
All right, grab this other wood hoop. Again, unfinished. I'll have to the inside so the finish is what is sticking out. Looking pretty. Uh, make sure that the logo is aligned. And I'm excited to put a drum box sticker on this Rezo head later as well. So, let's see, I think I figured out. Tension rod first is easier. So we'll go that route. And this is where we speed up the video again. go ahead and get the pointed part of the spur to come out a bit. So it holds its place on the rug. Oh yeah. So it's got a decent lift off of the ground. Give you some tilt. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Totally dead. I need to tune up from finger tight. Finish looks awesome with the contrast of the wood hoops. Digging it. Repetition makes you better at everything, right? So I think I'm finally figuring out that I should just rotate around the drum after I do opposing tension rods. So this is only six lugs, so that's quick. With this being just an 18 inch kick, I want to do everything I can to keep some punch. Again, I purchased this from Rups in Denver. Uh, Alex and Evan helped me out a ton with picking this thing out, getting it shipped quickly, uh, shipped to their store. I went and picked it up at the store today. Uh, it's always cool to go in Rups and see what's new. All right, so resonant side. That sounds, that sounds like a kick. We'll fine tune it later, but for now, just want to get this set up and playable. And then we'll get everything sounding super good later. Incredibly portable. All right, so the battery died on the real camera. So now we're doing this with my phone. Uh, I'd already pulled out, mounted the tom arm under the clamp. I think we want that a little bit lower. So I'll adjust the memory lock. Another memory lock here, which is great. Reasonable. All right, again, this is a 13 by five snare. Just a little thing. Looks like I'll have to buy some more big fat snare drum products to match this 13 inch snare. of this kit itself would be a cymbal mounting arm. All right, gonna have to consult either rubs or the internet to see how to make this thing actually have tension. I'm all the way tight on the wing nut and all the way tight on this nut. So I'll have to figure that out. So I'm silly. This is not where this goes. Uh, that's for other things. Right here. Completely forgot, neglected to pay attention. Some excuse. Uh, yeah, so this is the spot. And that very easily tightens right up. 
give that a little spin. And let's say that's that's the spot. So we put this little guy over here. It will be kind of a combo crash ride symbol. We'll be upgrading soon on symbols for this. All right, so here we are. It's a kit. <laughs> Once I get everything tuned up, I think it's going to be pretty great. Thanks for watching.